I'm not sure who did this. Stretch is not down. Molly gives no fucks. I shouldn't be wearing chucks. Hi, Mom! And then there's uh, Sam and Nolan and Valerie and Pooh Bear and my retarded husband. Uh, you to do that again, Jer? Yeah, take off your hat, numb nuts. Wait, listen, I need a ride. Ask Jay if I come back. Cigarette in her. I'm making a fucking video. Cigarette in her. Put the head on your hole. For real? There it is. You look natural, can I? Thank you. I had to. Well, yeah, please come get me a Ew, good yeah. freaking things. Ugh. Ah! If you, 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 if you come soon. Charlie! Charlie! Charlie, look at it, dude! Look at the other Charlie! What are you doing? Making a video. <laughs> the Drew! Oh, shit. Watch it, watch it. The Drew! Hi, the Drew! I look like shit! Yay! Wait, wait, what's, what's in here? It says hatchet. 3.8 acres for space. Okay. Hey, don't forget my penny. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what am I to you? Oh my god! I am your great uncle. Hello! <laughs> yep. Look at the ID or something. Oh my god! Okay. You're retarded, Jer. I'll take a picture, King. Question for people at home uh, is, is your husband no, that retarded? Me. This shit right here, man. This some motherfucking shit. This some motherfucking shit. So, before my toes freeze off. And I die, or I end up looking like. If we're trying to prevent death, you can go to the real suicide slash shop and order you up a copy of Tyrosinium, maybe some stickers, a motherfucking t shirt, some shit, so a motherfucker can go get some boots and a motherfucking coat, man. Cause fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! God damn. Oh hi, didn't see you there. It's uh, it's your friend Capital Chris, and welcome to Cap C T V. <laughs> That's right. This year starts off a whole, whole new year, a whole new era for us here at the uh, uh Suicide Saints. Uh, corporation. That's right. We uh, we have decided to make some significant changes. Now you see, um, with the dawning of 2018, <laughs> 2018, because I'm you know trendy. Uh, I, I figured it's time today to talk about um, the fresh start that a new year gets to give you, and with that comes the idea of. New Year's resolutions, and my resolution has been to ensure that we can become something much more wholesome. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for real though, I, I want to talk about the idea of a of New New Year's resolution. It's a thing everybody always talks about. And it's not necessarily a negative thing. It, it, it is a good concept. It's good in concept, but where it falls apart is in practice for most people. Um, so I, I want to give my friends out there, all you guys, all you weirdos, um, kind of an introspective on, uh, on how to set a goal and set a resolution that you can follow through with, um, but you could be proud of having set. Um, the main thing is, like, it's all going to depend on you. It's all going to be up to you whether or not you can maintain yourself throughout the, you know, your period of change. But if you find a thing that you really are genuinely dedicated to, like that shit's going to matter to you enough to uh to keep moving forward with that. So with that said, um you know, you have a lot of different people that go about 
New Year's um, resolution shit, like, uh, uh, in kind of categorical ways that you see all the time. You know, you have the... Uh, you have the stereotypical trendy motherfucker of like, oh yeah, oh all oh, yeah, 2017, you know, it just wasn't my year. But this year, that's my year, bro. All y'all can back up, because that's my year, bro. It's not your year. We done talked about that last year. We'll talk about it again. It's not your year. It's nobody's fucking year. None of us. Because it's everybody's year all together. We all experiencing this shit at the same fucking time. So... The next closest best thing that you can get, if you want it to be your year, is to make it lucrative and, and fulfilling for you. Because it's not going, nobody else is going to give a fuck about your year except you. So find something then that will make you feel as though the year has given itself, you know, a. Uh, um, positivity and goals and shit like that for you for yourself um because nobody else don't nobody else is required to give a shit about you or your shit ever even your friends don't gotta give a fuck about you i mean they're probably bad friends if, if that's the case but that's your call you you the one friends with them i don't i don't know you that's you stupid uh <laughs> but anyway then you know you have the people who are like uh who, who set the these really temporary materialistic or, or uh like simplistic goals that's not necessarily a bad thing because if you set a simple goal for yourself for a following year it's easier to follow through on that but at the end of the day like if you say oh yeah my new year's resolution is not to eat mcdonald's anymore like is that really that hard to fucking do really i mean for some people yeah because income situation i understand it's hard to eat cheap as fuck it really is but you could spend the same amount of money, go to Aldi's or something like that, buy groceries. And stop being a lazy fuck and make your own food. If you have some kind of medical thing that prevents you from being able to do that, totally understandable. But the point is, most people will set some simplistic, super fucking easy thing. And then they'll be like, okay guys, my New Year's resolution is that, okay, I love chocolate. And so I'm only going to eat chocolate like once a month. That's your, that's your goal? That's the thing that you've decided to put your whole fucking year towards? That's the thing that was so important to you that you wanted to make a lifestyle change that you just you were going to eat chocolate? Fuck off with that shit. It's pointless. Like, you're wasting an opportunity to set a milestone to better yourself. So if you want to do something like that, make it something that's genuinely going to impact your life. That's genuinely going to affect your quality of existence. So if you want to, if you want to say some shit along those lines, then instead be like, okay, my goal for this year, you know, is to, to make some kind of significant dietary change that's going to actually affect my health, you know, um, and you can find something that's easy for you to follow through on. Cause, cause it's not easy to say, okay, this year I'm going to be completely gluten free. That shit's hard to do. Uh, that's, that's taking a large leap. That's fine. But you can also say, this year, I'm going to cut back on, you know, bleached bleached wheats. I, I'm not going to eat white bread. I'm going to do my research on the type of food that I eat. I'm going to pay more attention to what I eat. That's a good goal. Instead of just saying, here's one specific detail, make it a broad category for yourself. If you're worried about your health, if you're worried about your weight, if you're one of those materialistic, girly people who needs to be fucking super fucking thin, like, that's fine. But, like... Make it a generalized goal that's going to improve your quality of life instead of just making some simple ass shit. Then you can be like, oh my god. At the end of the year, you go, oh, I only fucking ate chocolate like 12 times this year. Hashtag goals. Like, that's fucking stupid. You you took something that could have bettered you and made it some something simplistic. You know. And last but, last but not least, the most annoying of all the resolution categories that I find are the people who dog on people for deciding that a resolution is going to improve their life. A New Year's resolution doesn't have to be anything other than a mental note you take for yourself in hopes of improving your life. And on the internet and social media and everywhere that you go, there's always going to be people 
who are going to dog on you no matter what the fuck you do. They're always going to be unhappy no matter what your choice is. You can't let that shit affect what your goal is. But at the same time, I will speak directly to you motherfuckers who are, who take time out to be like, oh, New Year's, if you worried about making a New Year's resolution, that you, you fucking dumb. Do something real with your life. Some people are. That's kind of the point. It's, it does suck. I, I will be honest. It does suck that some people have to have some kind of like vestigial false uh, holiday thing in order for them to convince themselves they should improve as a person. But at the same time, if it works and it does convince them to con con like, like continue to move forward as a human being, why, why are you shitting on that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're making a genuine effort to do something significant in their life, why shit on them? What the fuck you doing? If you're not doing something twice as good as them, shut the fuck up. Now, granted, I am i don't know your life, so if you're like, okay, this year, my New Year's resolution is to visit, you know, 10 third world countries and feed 100 kids, you know what? Dog on whoever you want, because I can't say shit, because you're doing way more than me. But if you some motherfucker on the couch talking about my New Year's resolution is to figure out new ways to say fuck ICP or Twisted, like, really, bruh? That's your life? That's what you want to, that, that's what your resolution is? My New Year's resolution is to shit on anybody who tries to make their life better. Really, dog? Really? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody got time for that bullshit. Like, grow the fuck up. As adults and as human beings, we should be encouraging each other to follow through on the shit that improves our lives and taking the people in our lives and around us who do not improve our lives and getting them the fuck out of them you know what i'm saying like you're not beholden to anyone but yourself so if you surround yourself with shit people and you allow shit people to continue to be there it's just going to drag you down so my my personal resolution this year is just the same one i've always had and that's just to keep growing i don't set goal i don't set a specific goal because my goal is just growth and i try to make sure that that's always there but if you're having trouble thinking of one for yourself maybe that should be yours maybe you should just set a goal that this year i'm a i'm a grow and follow through on that because you don't have to have a specific list of things you need to do set down just say this year i'm gonna be better than i was last year that's all that fucking matters. If anybody's got a problem with that, tell them they can come to me. Peace out. Shovel all this shit out. Molly runs in the pile. No fucks given. And she runs over there to poop. Normally, I would pick it up. I'm not running through any more snow, though. So what my guess is, with how recycling works, when the snow melts, the shit's just going to disappear. And if that's not how it works, then Bill and I can hit me up and correct that. You're a lunatic, dog. You're a motherfucking lunatic. See, I shoveled all that area. That's where I wanted you to shit. about yours truly f stop motherfucker it's the holidays okay and that brings me to a fucking subject at hand because i hear this every fucking year happy holidays or merry christmas it is a fight it is a subject of controversy shut the fuck up 
Seriously, from a guy who has not had his kid, kids uh, for two fucking Christmases. I've had my family here for Christmas, my girlfriend and her children. We had a great Christmas. But I've yet to have my kids unwrap another Christmas tree. Take it from me. Take it from this motherfucker right here. Shut the fuck up. The whole Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays thing is because Merry Christmas is so Christian-y. And first of all, if you want to be Christ-like, don't be a motherfucking Christian. That's the fastest way to be Christ-like, is not to be a motherfucking Christian. Don't associate yourself with any religion that has some dude on a cross, or some dude that's not on a cross, or something that has to do with a cross. Unless you're playing tic-tac-toe. I know it's X's and O's, but it's like, fuck off. Don't associate with anything like that. And you can be Christ-like. Fuck religion. Fuck fairy tales. Fuck made up fucking storybook fucking creatures from people that believe that the sun was some sort of fucking deity. They didn't understand what the fuck it was, so they had to make up stories of where humans came from and all that fucking type of shit. That's what Merry Christmas was all about. And then these people are like, I am not Christian, blah, blah, blah. I'm from a different religion, so we should say happy holidays. It's no longer a Christmas tree. It's a holiday tree. We've heard about this shit. We know about these fucking things. What the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Take it from me. Shut the fuck up. Just stop it. Stop it. Shut the fuck up. Oh yeah. Mag's a stripper, Paul. She's a practice stripping. Stripping prostitute. <laughs> Enough of the hoe. Let's go. Speaking of hoes, the whole Christmas, ho, ho, ho. Apparently there were hoes that were very upset and they wanted it changed because they felt that it violated them, that it's... It was aimed towards them calling them hoes or something. It's like, listen, bitch. When Santa Claus said, ho, 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 my ex thought she was getting paid for sex three times in a row. Ho, ho, ho. But either way, again, trailing off on tangents, we're getting back to this. Happy Holidays was created for the people that didn't want to associate religion with the Christmas holiday because they have the whole Christ mass, whatever, fucking yada yada yada, I don't know what's that's. You know what side of the fence I'm on? Neither fucking side of the fucking fence, so shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck about religion. Never have, never will. I have an IQ over 50. I'm not into religion. And Christmas? I celebrate Christmas. I celebrate it. And I'll tell you fucking why. Because it's not about fucking religion and fucking fairy tale creatures and shit. And yes, my hand is bandaged because my hand is sore. Because unfortunately, my hand slipped off my knob when I was masturbating and it fucking hit something. The fucking nightstand, actually. And that's why my hand fucking hurts. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not. It has nothing to do with masturbating. I know how to masturbate. I can switch hands without missing a motherfucking stroke, motherfucker. That's right. But anyways. I celebrate Christmas. It has nothing to do with fucking religion. It's a fucking Christmas tree. It's Christmas. Let's call it what it is. I don't give a fuck if you're religious or whatever. Say happy holidays. I don't give a fuck. But after you say happy holidays, shut the fuck up. And the fucking religious motherfuckers, when you say Merry Christmas, say Merry Christmas. And then shut the fuck up. The point of this is shut the fuck up. I celebrate Christmas because I believe in Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Okay, I don't believe in Santa Claus, but I celebrate Santa Claus, you know why? It's the magic, the joy of the fucking, the kids in the morning, man, the fucking glee. They open up their gifts and they're fucking happy and shit. The fucking merriment. And even, 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 if you don't want to fucking tell them there's this mystical, magical guy who smokes a pipe with a fucking whirl of fucking smoke around his head and blah blah. Sorry, that was cut out of the fucking Twas the Night Before Christmas because we're anti-smoking now. And for the anti-smokers, shut the fuck up. Moral of the story, shut the fuck up, really. If you don't celebrate Santa Claus and the gifts and the opening of the gifts and the giffity openings and stuff like that, you don't have to. That's not the true spirit of Christmas. The true spirit of Christmas, really, 
is once a fucking year. Forget the fucking commercial shit. Forget the fucking capitalism. Forget the fucking commercial holiday where you gotta buy shit for everyone. Buy shit in some other fucking day and give gifts. Or do something nice for somebody. Tell somebody that you care. Show somebody that they matter. Get together. Have some turkey. Kill a bunch of fucking turkeys because they taste so delicious. There with gravy all over them. Fucking pillowy mountains of mashed potatoes and pierogies and fucking cranberry sauce. Oh, motherfucking yes. And have some pie with that. Some apple pie. And kill some fucking apples because apples taste so fucking good. And some nice apple fucking pie. Oh, motherfucker. With some ice cream. Maybe even heat it in the oven with a fucking slice of cheese on top. Have a feast. Invite some guests over. Have some family over. You might not see your family all the time. Get them down at least once a year. Get everybody together. Exchange what the fuck's going on. What's going on with your kids' lives? What's going on with your nephew's lives? What's going on with your fucking niece? Your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, your best friends, your friends, your fucking acquaintances, fucking somebody. Help somebody out. It's just that one time a year for me that there's togetherness we can celebrate. Merriment. Yes, with the, you know, the elves and the reindeer and the Eskimos and all the fucking other fictional shit. Coming together with gifts and stuff. And kids opening up packages and being all happy and stuff. It's fucking about being together and being happy and fucking having a great fucking time, a great fucking feast and eating each other out and stuff. Sorry, Southern States. Do you frown when you're having sex with your siblings? I don't know. I know, not all of you do that. But the ones that do, Shame on you. Shame. Abortions all the way. Um, abortion showers. Showers of abortions. Coat hanger fucking Tuesdays. Masturbate with a coat hanger if you have to. If you're fucking your sister or fucking your brother. Seriously. What the fuck? That's a little bit too far-fetched Christmas family togetherness. Forget about eating each other out. Why did I go off on that tangent? Fuck that tangent. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I should shut the fuck up. That's the most important fucking moral of this story. Shut the fuck up. I need to listen to myself a little bit more and shut the fuck up. Get together. Share some time. Share some memories. Welcome in the new year. The fucking earth has just went around the sun one more fucking time. That's one more fucking year that you're still alive. That you still have a chance to make a difference. Still have a chance to say something to somebody that you care about that you haven't seen for a while. That you're going to miss. That if someday they croak or something, you wish you would have said something. Take this chance, take this holiday, take this time of year to fucking say something to somebody, to make a difference, to do something, to fucking get rid of old fucking feuds and fucking hostilities and animosities and welcome in fucking people and help the poor. Do something. You know what I mean? Show some spirit of Christmas. Christmas is not about fucking Christianity because Christians don't do that shit. They're bad people. This is F-Stop saying, if you got a chance, just shut the fuck up. Look, stripper Paul, 10,000 penises through that fucking vagina and still counting. The number's getting higher. Like, uh, I should have shut the fuck up. I should have never got one that. Fuck that. For fucking Christmas. That turkey gets stuffed a lot. Oh, and by the way, if you go to the fucking grocery stores and you go to pick up a turkey, those little fucking sticker price tag things don't stick the frozen turkey so you can swap them around a little bit and get like a $45 turkey for like $7.97. No joke. It was fucking delicious. Butterball, pre-stuffed. It was great. Didn't have to stuff the motherfucker. I hate stuffing turkeys because sometimes I'm fucking... And dick gets a little chafed or whatever because, I mean, it doesn't self-loop. You gotta loop it yourself and sometimes the loop. I've said too much. So anyways, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Lap dance time. It's the lap dance is so much better when the stripper is crying. Yes, the lap dance is so much better when the stripper is crying. That is a cop in my yard. Ew. <laughs> uh, it's that cop guy. Uh, oh shit, cop guy. Hey, cop guy. <laughs> Where'd you bring me?
Is it synthetic or? Yeah. So it's probably Norinco, right? I don't know. They have Norinco up there for seven hundred dollars. It's wooden. Motherfucker, Christ! Very safe to show. Go get that free download. SuicideStateStopBandCamp.com. Safe as carols. Twenty seventeen. Out now for free. And I'm gonna.
We want to leave you with one last lesson to remember about the Suicide Saints, and that's the fact that we, we love, love you, you especially, especially when you hate us. us. Hey, dog, this yeah. shit rocks! Walking around Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. We smoke the crack, bitch! This will go home the way you can see it. We smoke the crack, bitch! Walking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit break. We smoke the crack, bitch! We smoking crap, bitch! Man, damn it, I'm thinking I'm losing everything. The brain melts, it's sick of this fucking caroling. I'm always tired, my body don't wanna act right. I'm contemplating on going back to the crack pipe. Walking around, pissed as fuck like I hate y'all. Just spent my last hundred dollars on an eight ball. Fuck this music shit, 